Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from FlameLineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to create this cool audio spectrum in Adobe After Effects. So without wasting any time let's get started. Can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. First we will create a new composition and rename it to audio spectrum. And I'm going with same 1920-1080p and frame rate 30 and duration it's depend on your audio duration. In my case I'm going with 40 second then click on OK. Let's import our project files. You can download these project files from link in the description box below. Now select our audio layer and then place it into this timeline. Then select this color palette and place it anywhere in your composition. Then create a new solid layer and rename it to audio spectrum then click on OK. Then select this layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for audio spectrum. Then select this effect and apply onto this new layer. Then go to effect control panel and then audio layer set our audio file. And then hold down shift and then change the start point to something like this. And also change the end point. Then start frequency set it 1. End frequency set it 2 to 0. And frequency band set it 200. And maximum height set it 1 to double 0. And audio duration set it 100. And then thickness set it 6 and then softness set it 20% then color set it white like this and then mm, side option set it side B and then display option set it analog lines looks good to me now select this layer then press ctrl plus D then select this duplicate layer and then select our effect and then change the start point by holding shift then change the side option to side a now select this two layer and then change the layer color so that's no difficulty to understand now select this two layer then press ctrl plus d to duplicate this layer then change the layer color and then select this first layer then go to effect control panel and then change the audio duration to 90 and then change the color to yellow and then do same with the second layer then again select this two layer then press ctrl plus d then drag it below and then change the layer color select this first layer then go to effect control panel and then change the audio duration to 80 then change the color to aqua do same with the second layer then again select this two layer then press ctrl plus d then drag it below and then change the layer color then select this first layer then go to effect control panel and then change the audio duration to 75 then change the color And then do same with the second layer. Now you can delete the color palettes. Okay, let's create a new adjustment layer. Then go to effect control panel and then search for polar coordinates. Then Select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer. Then type of conversion set it react to polar. Then interpolation set it 100%. Looks good to me. Now go to effect and preset window and search for transform. Then select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer. Then 
increase the scale a little bit then hold down alt and then click on this rotation stopwatch then put time into 7 then click on enter then again go to effect and preset window and search for glow then select this effect and apply onto this layer then glow threshold set it 80 perfect okay let's run pvv it looks good to me okay let's increase the scale a little bit perfect now select all layers and then pre-compose and rename it to main then select move all attributes then click on ok now go to project window and then select this background and place it into this timeline you can download this loop background from Enverto Elements. There you can find lot of amazing VJ loop background. I have given the link in the description box below so please check this out. Now duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl plus D. Then place it one by one like this. Perfect. Now import the logo. Then adjust the size and position. Now make a duplicate of this logo. Then right click, then choose pre compose, and then select leave all attributes and rename it to logo stroke. then click on ok then open this composition then select this layer then go to layer then click on auto trace and then channel set it alpha then click on ok we don't need a marks inside so simply select and delete Then go to effect and preset window and search for 3D stroke. This is a third party plugin from Red Giant. Then simply select this effect and apply onto this logo layer. Okay, now thickness set it maybe 5. Then set a keyframe on start and end. Then end amount set it 0. Then go forward few seconds, maybe 3 seconds. Then start and end amount set it 100. Then select this layer, then press U. Then select this start keyframe and drag it few frames forward. Then select all keyframes. Then press F9. Then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this. Perfect. Okay, let's open Tapper, then enable this option, and then end thickness set it one hundred. Perfect. Let's change the color to maybe yellow. Then go to effect and preset window and search for glow. Then select this effect and apply onto this layer. Then go to audio spectrum composition.
and then trim this layer then simply make a duplicate of this layer and place it one by one something like this our audio spectrum is ready press 0 to ramp view this Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, have a great day and stay safe.